I'm a happy place. Everybody. My name is Guy. I'll be with you for the next three hours. Our first hour is part of our holiday prep series. What we figured is, you know what, this is a really good time of year to get items. That'll make it easy for you to cook around the house. Little gadgets, a lot of uh, gifts and gadgets. Great stuff to give, great stuff to get. We're gonna do two hours of that coming up a little bit later, but I wanted to show you something brand new. I'm excited because I get to uh, work with Chef Jamie Gwen. I haven't seen her in a long time, and she's come up with a wonderful idea. If you are looking for the perfect cup of coffee, everybody knows the best coffee out there is French press, right? It heats the, uh, the grinds to the perfect temperature, extracts all the flavor, but let's face it, a regular French press is kind of a pain because after you, you know, pour your your coffee in, you strain it out, you gotta put it right in the microwave and keep reheating it. This is a powered French press. So the water is always gonna stay hot, you're gonna get maximum extraction, but it also is a frother for foam, it'll melt your chocolate to make a homemade hot chocolate, cappuccinos, lattes, whatever you need, and the coffee stays nice and warm. I love the size of it, doesn't take up a lot of space. It's 50% off at the launch. This is a way to get it out there, okay? Because we wanna get some great reviews on this product. They took 50% off the price, not 149, 79 bucks. I can't wait to buy one of these. I love French press coffee. Uh, but like I said, I hate having to reheat it all the time. You don't have to do that with this. Uh, that's coming up a little bit later, but walk on over with me. We are gonna start you off with probably if not the most popular prep item that we brought to you over the past six months to a year is from our proprietary brand of Kitchen HQ. This is called the High Speed Grater. I, I, I aired this a couple of times before I actually had to break down and buy one because it is absolutely the coolest way to prep, nothing to plug in. It is a manual prep machine unlike any other. Uh, it'll do anything you want it to do. You can uh, shred cheese, lettuce, uh, you can uh, make your own toppings, you can make breadcrumbs, you can do so many, you can slice vegetables, it's awesome. And what I call the John Florell show is gonna start in about 30 seconds, but before I do that, I wanna show you what it is and how it works. So basically, you, you got these three drums, right? And the drums just screw right inside, there's a little feed tube right here, they screw inside and you crank them, you just crank them with your finger and it's locked in. This allows you to do slicing, uh, a finer grade and then less fine grade of whatever it is you wanna chop. And then all you do is you put the food in top, put the little sleeve down, and you turn the crank. It is that easy. We have sold on this visit over 26,000. I own, I think every host owns one of these. Best part is nothing to plug in, no noise. So if you want a great cheese in the morning, you won't wake up the entire house. I have it available in red or blue. You get the three drums to go with it. So with all that being said, I'm gonna hand it over to my special guest and he is gonna show you and prepare to be wowed. You might wanna sit down because this is the <laughs> coolest thing I've ever seen. John Florell, welcome back with the HQ Raider, buddy. Hey, thanks. Hey, hey, thanks for having me. Listen, all, all you do, is, now I have the slicing drum in here, but all you do is put your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese in the top little hopper, turn the handle, and that stainless steel drum does the work. Now, it comes with this little pusher that feeds the vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese down through so you never waste anything, okay? Your fingers never get close to the blades, but you'll slice everything with this. Here's a large, one of these big cute, uh, English cucumbers for cucumber salad. You'll nickel down carrots wow. for canning or sliced beets for pickling. I'll tell you what, a, a cucumber for bread and butter pickles or cucumber salad, it does just about, here, take a potato, put it in the top for scallop potatoes or potatoes or broth. <laughs> it awesome. literally great, or slices just about everything in the kitchen and your fingers never get close to the blades. Now, to change out the drums, like you mentioned earlier, Guy, it's so simple. They're all stainless steel, dishwasher safe, uh, or you can just rinse them off by hand. But let me move this out of the way because I got a little bit crazy there. I'm gonna show you the grating drum. Now it also comes with a coarse grating drum and a fine grating drum. I'll show you the coarse grating drum first because you'll grate everything with this machine. I mean, you'll grate potatoes for potato pancakes or hash browns. How about sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese? I'll show you that in a second. Carrots coconut, chocolate, all you do is turn the handle. And why break out that big heavy food processor, uh, you know, that takes so much time to set up and clean when you can grate zucchini for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins, this quick and easy and with no waste because that little pusher feeds it down through, you never waste anything. Everything comes out in the front 
and it goes into your salad bowl, a frying pan, a measuring bowl, whatever you like. Now, I gotta tell you, with this machine, you'll love it just for cheese, okay? And here's how simple this is to set up and clean. There's a little knob back here on the back of the handle. You're gonna untwist this knob, which will take that off and it loosens up the drum, okay? So you're gonna take this drum out, that's the slicing drum that I showed you a second ago. I'm gonna put coarse grating drum back in this machine and I'm gonna twist the handle back on. That's how it locks it inside. Now, you'll notice, oh, by the way, the whole thing comes apart. I mean, it's all dishwasher safe. The base of this is where the magic happens. This is why everybody loves it. Because when you place this down on a smooth countertop or tabletop and twist this little collar, it locks it down. So it's not gonna move, okay? It stays stable wherever you wanna put it. So hey, on taco night, you can set this right on your kitchen table or dining room table, lock it down, and then, Look at this. Here's an entire block of cheddar cheese guy for tacos, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas. Hey, listen, a guy, I talked to a lot of people doing this, you know, over the years. And look at this. If anybody's ever slipped on one of these old four-sided tin can jobs, I call it the old knuckle buster. Because <laughs> if you do slip or get too close to your fingers, you take off a knuckle. Forget about that. You'll never have to worry about it because with that pusher, it feeds it down through the machine. And like I said, just for fresh grated cheese, you're gonna absolutely love this. Instead of buying it in a plastic bag, grated up for you, now you can grate it yourself and not just cheese. Hey, like I said, you'll have so much fun with this. It's like, why pull out that big heavy food processor anymore? You want some egg salad? Throw some hard boiled eggs through the top of the machine. And look at this, you got eggs for egg salad. You can, everything goes into the bowl, so now you can just put your, uh, your, your uh, rest of your ingredients in here. If you want to grate some pickle, you can put some uh, dill pickle in there, and then a little bit of mayonnaise, you mix it up. You got your egg salad in, done in seconds. But even something that that old knuckle buster can't do, like if you've ever tried to grate wet mozzarella, uh, oh, one yeah. of those old knuckle busters, look at this. For, listen, if you like fresh pizza, homemade pizzas, you're gonna oh, love this. Oh. For lasagnas, and, I mean, fresh hey, John, mozzarella. Have you ever tried? To, John, you ever tried to do that <laughs> kind of mozzarella on a regular box grater? Impossible. Yeah, it all sticks. You can't get it out, <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. One of these things, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Get your, and and guy, how do you clean one of these? Okay, you ah, need a toothpick and a hand like a brain <laughs> surgeon. Forget it. But I know. watch this. Here, I got to show you this because you're gonna absolutely love this for doing all kinds. of the finer things. By the way, before I change out this blade, I gotta show you this. I've got three fresh slices of bread, okay? Yeah. Now you can use stale bread, toast, you can use uh, croutons if you have a box of croutons. Yum. Pour them in the top of the machine. You wanna make homemade bread crumbs? Now you can do that. Wow. I'd like to show you this because come Thanksgiving, if you make your own stuffing. Oh yeah. Or maybe, maybe you have an air fryer and you wanna make some homemade panko. You can do this at home. Instead of buying it, Okay, instead of buying it in the store where you're paying so much more for it, you can make this fresh. And you want to talk about fresh. Look at that. It's all grated. But watch this. That's fresh bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John, it's, it's brilliant. It's perfect for bread. Hey, crumbs. John, let me give yeah. you one sec just to uh, yeah, remind everybody. Okay, here's the deal. We had 30,000, I think 26, 27,000 are gone. Leaves me with 3,000 of these left. They are going very quickly. I mean, I love the fact that it's still only $21. Try this out. You got three and a half months to use it. We got extended returns. You're going to love this product. If you want to get this and you want to get it for free today, we got an HSN credit card offer. You get a brand new card, you get $40 in your account. That'll cover everything. That'll cover the tax. It'll cover everything on this product so you can get it home uh, for free. So, and we're going to mention that throughout, uh, throughout our show. If you want to get the $40 gift card, uh, it only goes one more day. Get it, get it. It's actually $40 in your account when you get a credit card. I always say gift card, but I screw that up. But get it, red or blue, all the drums are included. John, you know what I made the other day? You know, I made one of our favorites. I did the cheese it chicken. Tell everybody oh, about the cheese it chicken, John. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, yeah, listen, if you like parm, here's what you can, listen, I tried this the other night too, guy. I took some cheeses and made breadcrumbs on yeah. them and mixed it up with some fresh parm on the chicken, oh. okay? I don't know what it is about those cheddar cheese cheeses and fresh parm, but it was amazing for breading on your, on, a, on like a, chick, a chicken breast. And you, again, that was fresh parm, hard, hard cheeses. It comes out perfect, but watch this here. I'm gonna go right over the top of this. I'm gonna take a handful of saltine crackers because, you know, I used to watch my grandmother. She'd make breadcrumbs at home. She'd use a rolling pin and a paper bag 
And then she spent 20 minutes cleaning up all the, the mess when the paper bag broke. <laughs> Look at this. All, wow. Everything goes right into the bowl. If you're into baking, and listen, here's a whole stack of graham crackers. Watch We're making this. homemade fresh Love graham it. cracker crust. If, if you, listen, for your key lime pies, yeah. for the holiday pie season, you're going to want to do this with graham crackers. But I got to show you, not just graham crackers. Here, let me put the rest of these through because it's literally done in seconds. All you do is turn that handle. But tell me, guy, how long would it take you to set up that big, bulky food processor right. just right. to make some breadcrumbs? Forever. Now you can do it yeah. yourself. And look, you mentioned the Cheez-Its. Here you go. We there also tried Doritos. <laughs> the Cool Ranch Doritos work really oh, good for breadcrumbs, awesome. too. Watch, watch. I mean, all you do is turn the handle. Breading. But I tell you what, if you wanted to do, here, here's a handful of, uh, uh, of Oreo cookies for Oreo cookie crust. It's so much fun. You can get the kids involved. And not just for making crust and crumbs and bread and breading and things like that. But the kids, we all know, even big kids like ice cream, right? I, I know I do. But check this out. I'm going to change this drum out. I'm going to put the coarse grating drum back in because I think you're going to love this. I showed you the, the, the listen, you can use the, the uh, Oreo cookies for your bread crust or for uh, ice cream toppings. But look. Take walnuts, almonds, cashews. Here, I'll throw some uh, dry roast and peanuts and some M&Ms in the top, okay? Next time you're having Sundays, we're making fresh oh homemade gosh. ice cream Sundays. Look, look. You can make your own ice cream toppings, cake toppings. Maybe you've got the kids over and you guys are all wow. making, uh, uh, you know, the holiday uh, 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 cupcakes. And look, now you've got your toppings hey, for your cupcakes. John, or imagine, you imagine can take a whole block of chocolate. Yeah, imagine how good it would be if you were baking homemade cookies and you got to make them with that pile that you just put in the bowl. Oh, imagine that flavor in a cookie or a, or a brownie or John. The, yeah, the chocolate shavings on top of a cake or on top of oh, cupcakes. Yeah. Perfect. Sure. Yeah, and that's the fun thing. You can get the kids involved. They can have fun. Listen, cooking doesn't take time. It's the prep that takes all the time. And why I spend all that money in the supermarket on stuff that's already grated up or shredded up for you, when you can do it yourself safely, easily, quickly, in fact, that's why we call it the speed grater, you just saw me do an entire, like a whole chocolate bar yeah. done in seconds, perfect for your Jack, lattes you know, or for, for your ice cream toppings. You know, the bottom line is this is $21. And, and I'm not, hey, I'm not yep. poo-pooing a big giant food processor. You know, if you're doing industrial style baking and cooking, that's great. But if you want to get some cheese in the morning for your scrambled eggs, you're not going to pull that giant thing out. If you want to make toppings for ice cream for the kids, you're not going to pull the giant one out. Yeah, we have those here. Those are available on HSN. They're great, but they're not for every day. Those are for holidays and all that where you're making giant batches. This is your everyday little portable food processor. It goes on any countertop. Just remember, it's got to be a solid countertop because it kind of suctions on. Uh, but you can always buy a piece of marble or granite or whatever. You got. I mean, it's very, very easy, but it'll work on most countertops. And I love the fact that you're doing it and you're doing it quietly. All you're doing is spinning it around. That's all that you need to do. It'll go anywhere. People love these for travel. We are definitely down to about 23, 2400 remaining left. Um, I only have about 600 left in blue. If you want to get the blue, I own the red one. I love it. But to me, John, there's nothing better than grating or grinding fresh. You can go and yeah, you can go buy bags of cheese that are already pre-ground. And you know what? They coat them with like cornstarch or some kind of a, of a floury mixture so they don't stick together. And it doesn't melt the same. You know, I mean, it's different when you do it fresh, John. And you know, all you do is take whatever fruit or vegetable, meat or cheese, put it in the top of the machine and turn the handle. You can even do things like this. Hey, I'm gonna take a couple of stalks of celery here. Check this out. The celery is not necessarily the easiest thing to slice by hand. But with this machine, there's no strings attached. I mean, it comes out perfect for your stir fries, for soups and stews. And I mean, <laughs> just for sliced Look celery, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I will. I use. I can't wait to use it for stuffing because stuffing is a pain. You got to chop everything oh, yeah. so fine, right? The celery's got to be fine. The onion's got to be fine. The carrot. Nobody wants a big honking right. piece of onion in their stuffing. You're going to be able to use three <laughs> different uh, uh, styles in this. And let's face it. All right. If you want to buy your kids a food processor and you want to spend four hundred and fifty dollars, I got beautiful ones here. I got them right here right. at HSN. But if you don't have that kind of money, or you just want to get somebody something that's that's easy and simple.
This is the one for you, 673085. Uh, thanks to the to uh, Kitchen HQ. John, thanks to you as well. Great job, buddy. Thanks. Good to see you. Thanks, guy. Happy slicing. Good to see you. All right, brother. Thanks so much. Hey, by the way, we have a lot of Kitchen HQ items on hsn.com, so if you want to check it out, uh, this is our, our brand, our proprietary brand, so you know you're going to get a good price and you're going to get a great value on it. So whether you're whipping up cakes or you're baking or you're frying or whatever the heck you're doing, you're going to get the right tool to do it. Um, again, write the item number down, 673 085 $21, and you will get the tool of a lifetime. It's, I'll tell you. It's funny, you always think you gotta spend lots of money to get great deals. That thing is awesome and I love it. All right, I wanna remind you, we are streaming live on Facebook. I've got my little tablet here, so if you've got any questions or whatever, and you'd like to go on to uh, our Facebook page and ask us away or ask one of our guests, we can uh, take care of that for you. So, um, we are gonna move on to our next item. And uh, this, this is a really smart kitchen gadget, all right? Because all of us probably have tons and tons of the little spice bottles, right? I think once I checked, I had like three or four little little bottles of paprika because I kept buying it because I couldn't find it. The bottom line is you want to organize your shelf uh, spice cabinet. This is the way to do it. Um, I love this item. Um, it is a uh, customer pick, 4.8 stars, almost perfectly reviewed. And it is basically all, all ready to go, right? You don't have to worry about screwing it in or building it. It's all ready to go out of the box. It is a this day only. They dropped the price by $5 for us. And finally, an easy way to store all your spices. And all they do is they go right into the drawer. So now you can put this into a cabinet, you can put it wherever you want. When you pull out the drawers, everything is right there, neat and tidy. You can stack uh, smaller ones with your larger ones as well. They will hold up to about 24 bottles. I have it available in the white, or I also have it available in the black. Those are the ones I'm showing you here, but I also have it in red, and I have it in gray, right? Yeah, so I have all those. Uh, you can check out all the deliveries and uh, options uh, on hsn.com, but this is brilliant. Let me introduce you to Amy Garten, who is standing by. She is one of our wonderful kitchen experts, and she knows how to not only save you money, but to save you time and space as well. Hi, Amy. Hi, Guy, how are you? <laughs> wonderful, this is so smart. This is the best thing in the world, and let me show you why. Okay. Here's my cabinet. Now, I'm gonna be embarrassed for one second, pardon okay. me. This is my before. <laughs> mess and this is my wow. after so this is 24 spice bottles this is what you fit inside your spice stack this is the hot mess you'll never know what you have i probably have three different garlic powders in here and things i don't even know i'm going to rebuy and waste money but here i can fit all 24 right in here i've got my uh notes here my stickers here that tell me what's in there keep them nice and organized i pull those shelves out they can rest all by themselves. It's not gonna tip over. I find exactly what I need. I use it in my recipe, put it back in, and then you just lift and push that back in there. Neat and tidy, spice stack. It has such a great little footprint, but it fits so many bottles, so many spices, yeah. that it cleans up this mess in your counter where you're wasting money. And what I love about it is no matter what, say you have a brand that you love, a brand of spice you love, you don't have to worry about buying a specific bottle or a specific brand to fit inside the spice stack. It fits virtually any size, whether it's glass or plastic, whether it's round or it's square, it all fits in there. And then you just pull those shelves out you can lay them down. They hold by themselves. It's not going to tip over. You see exactly what you have, and then you push it back in. Isn't that brilliant? So smart and always there at the ready. Um, I, you know, it's funny, too. You'll find spices that kind of fall back behind something, and you'll find those two years later. And, and Amy, you know, because yep. I know you're a foodie, um, you, you know, spices really are not very good after about six months. I mean, you know, when spices right. are either ground or they're put in a bottle, because in the case of like bay leaves, which are whole and things like that, to the, just exposure to the air, they're not gonna be any good after six months to a year anyway. The problem is, we will buy them, we will save things inside there, because we don't even know when we bought them, and it's always a good idea to write a little date on your spices when you buy them. We're right. gonna give you uh, spice labels to go on the front of your, yep. uh, on the front of the little cabinet here. If you come in really close, thanks Amy, you, we can show you these yeah. ones too. You'll see these are all labeled and named, so if you are looking for your uh, adobo seasoning. Um, I, you know what's funny, is, and it's the ones that you don't buy very often, like, you know, like, like all spice is one of those ones that you really only use around holiday, most people. 
turkey seasoning, you know, which has got sage and a little combo of all that stuff. You only use that a couple times a year. And those yeah. ones usually are the ones that get lost in the shuffle and they get way in the back. It's a true story, Amy. I really did. I found three different bottles of paprika. And really the only kind of, the only thing I use paprika for, I use it in spice rubs, but I also use it to put on top of deviled eggs. <laughs> That's really to decorate. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. And chili, you know, but, but I, but I would, so I would buy the little bottle and then I couldn't find it because the little bottle gets lost right. in here. Because this is what happens. Yeah. Yeah. You, get, you buy so many and we're, what we're doing is we're wasting money and we're just buying again. We go to the grocery store. We don't know we have it. And then this is what happens in your cupboard. And you try to find things and you start like that, knocking things over. But instead you have this beautiful spice stack that you can fit 24 bottles. And if you put the minis in, you can see I've got the minis in my bottom shelf. You can fit well more than 24, but you see exactly what you have. And so you're not over buying. And again, it fits whatever size, whatever style or whatever brand that you like fits in there. And then it just tucks nice away. And this is great for anywhere in your house too. So if you want to use this in your bathroom, I've got like my vitamins and my medicine. So it's not just great for your yeah. kitchen, but it's great for so many other places in your bathroom. And like you were saying, we are sending, we've got 50 pre-printed labels and 50 that are blank for you. So you can fill it out however you want. This is, and I love that you mentioned it's a customer pick. I went and I read all of our reviews. We have such great reviews. Read the reviews. You'll see what people are saying about it and how they're using it. It's a great gift to give anyone. And especially now that we're all going to be cooking more for holiday season, we're yeah. going to be looking for all of those spices that we don't use often. We're going to waste money, buy more, and then have double this mess in our cupboard. Well, so this is a great thing to get. Get yourself organized. Get your family organized before the holidays. And Amy, as I look at your shot right there, I, I, on the on your little uh, closet of shame on the right, I can only see, <laughs> no, honestly, I, I can only see like eight labels. And you've got right. 24 bottles there because most of this stuff is stored in the back, right? You can't see it. Yes. Yeah. You And you would never be able to find it. I'm going to knock everything over trying to get it. And I'm going to get frustrated and just go out and rebuy it. Or you can get, you know, if you, even if you have like, you know, you have the lazy Susans and stuff that you can turn, yeah. they're still going to fall over. You're still, you can't label things. You're still not going to be able to find it. And if you try to buy something that, um, you have, say you have to put, you know, what you buy a special container because it's an organized thing, try pouring your spices into a special container made only for that lazy yep. season. It's, you're gonna make a mess. So this it's, gives you that versatility. It gives you the organization yeah. and just saves well, you money and, too. and those lazy Susans, you can't fit them everywhere, right? And I don't like, you know, if I buy one, then right. I'm assuming that I'm lazy. And I don't like how that <laughs> makes me feel. So anyway, exactly. grab it. Well, you get them, you get a white, black. They come in red or gray as well. If you want to pick them up, it's a really, really smart solution. It's going to help you not only through the holidays, but throughout the year. Uh, Amy, thank you so much for Skyping in. Great job. Appreciate Thanks, you. Guys. Uh, thank you. Talk to you soon. Hey, coming Bye. up, uh, I don't know how many of you are going to be eating uh, uh, cakes over the next few months. Probably a lot of you. Uh, Debbie Meyer is going to be joining us with her cake cutters. Oh, brilliant idea. Finally, leave it to Debbie to create something that is so smart. That first piece is always the hard one. Well, this is like two cutters in one joined at the middle, so you will get the perfect slice. We give you the angled cake cutter and the little box cake cutter. Uh, it's perfect for both, and you will get perfect slices every time. You can rinse it off when you're good. Works on virtually any type of dessert cake. Um, and it just uses the pressure of the of the blades. It's awesome. Look, even kids can do it. Anyway, that's coming up, 681909, and they're beautiful. Really great for weddings, too, because they really are dressy and nice. So those are coming up in a little bit. I know it's October, but let me, you know, I said before the show, I looked and I'm like, well, you know, this is this is basically an ice shaver. Y'all know shaved ice is ridiculously popular here in Florida. It's probably ridiculously popular anywhere. There's always a line wherever you go. And I've learned this. I will eat ice treats all year long. I don't care what month it is. And I know somebody else who doesn't care, kids. Kids will eat this stuff year round. It is a great way for them to be able to make their own love, delicious shave ice. You can make them fully uh, calorie or low calorie if you want to use your lighter syrups, but it is awesome. It is on sale down to $30.44. If you get a brand new H10 credit card, we'll put $40 in your account and you will get this free because the tax and the uh, shipping uh, will add up to be just about 40. You may have to pay a little, but it's a great deal. We only have this offer available for one more day, so grab it. Let me introduce you to Carrie Mileto. I want her to come right out because anytime is a good time for shaved ice. Hi, Carrie Mileto. 
<laughs> hi guys, hi everybody, and it is always a time for shaved ice, and I'm gonna give you lots of ideas besides just snow cones, because that's the first thing we think of, but there is so much more you can do with shaved ice. I wanna point out first, this ice shaver, BioVente, is so cute, it's single serve. So just like we wanna do single serve with our coffee makers and all those sort of things, now you can do single serve with your shaved ice, and notice this is nice and tiny. So it's only two and a half pounds, you guys. So you can take it, you set it on whatever counter you want. It has suction cup feet at the bottom, so now it's gonna stick to the bottom like that. Up at the top is how you turn it on. So you notice how when I turned it, it actually uh, turned the motor on. So it's super easy and you can't make a mistake of leaving it on or anything. It has a 17 ounce chamber with a stainless steel blade. So what I'm gonna do is load her up. And it'll use any type of ice that you have. So if it's coming from your refrigerator, if you're buying ice, you name it. But you put your lid on and watch. As soon as I turn it, it's going to start shaving. <laughs> oh, Gary, that's awesome. Look, and it's so fluffy. Look at that. Look how fast. Okay, so when you do a snow cone, the thing you wanna do is really pack it tight at the top. So that's what's gonna help all of your syrups kind of line up, yeah. right? And you know what? Making your own syrups is so much better than buying them already pre-made. I can't tell you that they use a lot of really preservative color, this, that, and the other thing. You can do these yourself with your favorite fruit juice. All you have to do is water, sugar, and fruit. I That's it. it. So I made a blackberry syrup. Here's my orange. And I'm going to do a little green. So this is your typical snow cone. So we'll start there. Let me just okay, tell everybody so just while, my flavors. while you're doing that, this is a great, yeah. great Christmas gift. All right. If you are, because, and trust oh me, gosh, yeah. great for kids, especially. Kids love things that get them, especially things they can do. And obviously under your supervision, you know, I don't know how old the kids are, but this is a fun thing. Put ice in the top. You don't have to put your fingers near any blades. And then you just put the cups on the bottom and, the, and it gives the kids something fun. They can make their own treats. They can do it all year. And it's easy. You're going to get a little instruction book to go along with it. Um, I have it in red. And I also have it in, I think this is black. It's not blue, right? No, this is black. So I have them in both colors. Uh, all the instructions, it's really, really easy uh, to be able to utilize. But I love, uh, Carrie, too, that I can customize. Like my favorite, and, and you don't usually see it in a lot of shaved ice spices, is grape. So you can take like regular mm. like grape, like grape juice. Like, you know, the real sweet kind. Yeah. And you could put that over there. Or if you like apple juice over it, it could be orange juice in the morning. I mean, it could be, a, you could even do, what, I, I imagine you could probably do like coffee drinks in here too, right? Oh, yes. Guy, how did you know? Were you I, in my house? I must have been. <laughs> I'm gonna do a sweet iced tea, and I want you to see that the snow cone holder, it comes with, um, you're gonna get this, the snow cone cup that's coming with it, this is the plastic reusable one, but you can take the holder off, it just slides right off, and then you can use whatever cup you want. So I'm gonna put actually a, a glass cup there that I wanna use. Now, I can't talk while this is going because it is a little loud, but I'm gonna just step aside for a minute, let this shave. I just like watching it work. <laughs> hey, by the way, it could also be, it could also be if you just want crushed ice for your drink, right? If you want to make a martini or if you want to make something for the kids, a big kids, little kids, you could make something and you'll get that ice, be delicious with iced tea, as we said, lemonade. I mean, endless possibilities, Carrie, endless. What are you putting in there? All right, so this is, I made an iced tea syrup last night. So I'm really going to go heavy with this guy. And you know, if it melts a little as you're putting it in, you can always top it off with some more ice. But what I'm gonna do, which is what I'm gonna do, so I put my iced tea syrup in, and I'm gonna top it off. And then I'm gonna pat this, and I'm gonna do a little bit of my sweet cream. Oh, I so love I did that. a sweet cream, which is just condensed oh, milk and evaporated milk, okay? And then we're gonna place a lemon on top, and there is your sweet iced tea shaved ice, okay? So that's number one. Now you mentioned coffee. You wanna see coffee? Let's do coffee. Yeah, do okay. coffee. So I'm gonna come over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do coffee. So we're gonna come to this machine over here. So let me take my lid off. So again, easy peasy, load it with ice. By the way, I like to let my ice, if you have that really, really, really hard ice in your refrigerator, let it sit out for about 10 minutes or so just to soften it up a little bit. I just think it's a good idea. And um, pop it in here again. Stainless steel blade's gonna do the work for you. Let's get this here. So I'm gonna do this really pretty cup. I've got my cold brew. Everybody's into the cold brew. So I'm going to pour it. half my cold brew at the bottom. That's a concentrate. And I, I made a chicory syrup, coffee syrup what? last night. You can... You can look online. It sounds it sounds complicated. It's absolutely Chicory's not. Chicory's great okay, in coffee. So yep. 
Isn't it great? Okay, so here we're gonna carve her up. All right. Man, you're making me want one of these drinks really bad, Carrie Maletto. Look at how good that is. And you know what? It's something you could do with. It's something you can do with your kids, Carrie, with your family, right? With friends. I mean, it's a great, it's great at a party. You know, you, you, you have like a holiday party, families all over, the kids are looking for something to do. Let them go make shave ice. Put them in a corner, give okay. them some drinks. Go ahead, what else? Okay, so now I'm actually doing, wait for it, this is my tequila. So this is actually a espresso flavored tequila. So this one would wow. not be for the kids. Here's my chicory syrup now going in Ooh, at the yummy. top. And then what's really, really the topper for this again is that sweet cream when you just do Love a little it. bit of that at the top. Oh, what a great done. idea. Thank oh you, gosh. Carrie, that just made me like so happy. I appreciate you doing that. What a great <laughs> gift to give to somebody. It's only $30. Uh, it's on sale today. Uh, grab it while you can, 716-622. Thank you, Carrie Maletto. That was wonderful. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll see you again soon. All right, where am I going? Let's go over here. Follow me over. We keep moving things around a little bit on you, but that's okay. So, uh, so let me introduce you to a really, really, really cool product. I actually own these. Um, you know what's funny is that I always had the biggest problem trying to start. Where do you start when you're cutting a cake, or especially if you're doing box cakes and things like that? Really, really tough, right? You try to use a regular cutter. You try to use, a, you know, a little spatula thing, and it winds up tipping, going left or right. It's never perfect. If you want to maximize the most slices out of a out of a cake, or even a pie, or a box cake, this is the way to do it. It comes to us from Debbie Meyer, and you know Debbie uh, for all of her wonderful ways to uh, preserve and store our food. Well, this is a way to take care of your food and get really, really good results. I want to show you what they look like really quickly. And then we'll uh, we'll Skype with Debbie, and she'll tell us all about it. So I've got one, two, three colors today. It comes in red, they come in black, or they also come in like an ivory. We call it white, but it's an ivory color. What these do is these not only will cut the cake perfectly every time, but then they will hold the cake so that you can remove it and you can serve it without any crumbs falling apart. It's not sharp on the bottom, doesn't need that. It's a cake. Cake doesn't need a sharp knife. It's one of the problems with knives is that it, it's so sharp on the top and it's thicker on the top or on the bottom and it's thicker on the top. You try to remove the cake, you make a mess. This is perfect slices every time. It is a two piece set. It comes in a beautiful gift box and I want you to look at these. These are absolutely gorgeous the way they're made. Uh, they have these beautiful um, baked on handles and then you've got your uh, stainless cutter here, but notice it's wedged in the middle. So if you wanna make a larger piece of cake, you can, or a smaller one. You know, somebody says, just give me a little piece. Well, then just give them a little piece. And you also have the box cake cutter, which works the same way. It allows you to portion out and get perfect um, uh, uh, servings every single time. Let me introduce you to our special guest, uh, Debbie Myers, Skyping in, Debbie. People have loved this. Hi. This has been a customer pick for a long time with good reason. What a yes. great gift and what a great item to have, not only for the holidays, but all year long. Welcome to our show, Debbie. All the time. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. It's wonderful to be here. I use mine every single day. You're, you don't have to make the choice. You're going to get the one, the V shape, it's a round cake. The square shape is for sheet cakes or square cakes or loaf cakes, whatever you want to cut with it. Again, they are not sharp. They are beautifully finished with a beautiful bolster and, of course, your choice of handles. The only choice you make is between the ivory, the red, or the black. And both pieces will come in the same color. So let's get to cutting because this is what's important. I hate it when people put their fingers in my cake when they're going to serve cake. You know, cut it, pull it out, stick your finger in it to get it to the plate. No more. Remember, this was my very, very first invention, and it's been around for a very long time, including in the London Design Museum because of that. Perfect. Look how gorgeous that wow. piece of cake came out. Now, all you do is move over to the plate, you put it down, and you release it. Okay. You get to serve the perfect piece of cake every time. And I'm going to turn this around because I want you to see how gorgeous and clean that wow. cut is. That's the first piece of cake. And you know, mom always said, oh, I'll take the first piece because yeah. it's so ugly. Right. Right? Yeah. So mom doesn't have to have an ugly piece of cake anymore. <laughs> so let's go. Now you can adjust it. Like you said, you can adjust any size you wish. Now notice that this is the black handle. It's really, really gorgeous. It goes with every decor. You can make, I'm going to make, yeah, let's do a guy size piece. Yeah. Anymore. Thanks, Debbie. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. Watch. Back it out, Perfect. gorgeous piece of cake yeah. on the plate. You have served a gorgeous piece of cake every single time. 
And you don't have to be embarrassed, and your friends don't have to be embarrassed. Everyone's always saying, I don't want to mess up your cake. Right. Right. Now, this is not just for celebrations, but, of course, it's great for celebrations. For the sheet cake one, you simply decide how deeply you go into the cake, and that's what's going to give you the size piece instead of squeezing it. It's how deep. So let's just go for a, like a normal. Here we go. Watch this. Boom. Yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Piece of cake. Wow. Is that gorgeous? I'm going to yeah. bring it over here and put it down on the plate. But I'm going to show you it doesn't have to be that big right. because we can go. Love it. That size. So if you've got a lot you of guests and you need to stretch the cake. Even. Yep. You know it. And then you can cut. In my house, if you don't cut quick, you're not cutting the cake again. That's not your job. Yeah. So this is, look how I can go right to the wall. Yeah. See that? You know what I like? Right to the wall. You, you know what I like too, Debbie, is that you don't have, you know, a lot of times you go to a place and somebody gets out there and they score the cake and it ruins the look of the cake, right? They oh, put, they put, so, yeah, they always draw a They draw it, lines. Right. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. You don't need to do that because no. you've got the perfect cake cutter every single time, Debbie. Absolutely. And the other thing is that children can use this. My own grandchildren have been cutting their own birthday cakes for years because it's not sharp. It's perfectly polished, but it's not sharp. So another thing you just talked about, maybe you want to know how much you're going to get out of the cake. So if I have some friends over and say, I've got this beautiful cake, but I don't know how big a piece anyone's going to whack for themselves. <laughs> so I can pre-cut my cake, as you can see here, and I can actually just place my cake cutter back in it and people can serve themselves and it's pre-cut. So if you're doing Thanksgiving, you're doing all these holidays now, and you want to make sure there's enough for everybody, that's how you do it. This is just, this is my everyday coffee cake. I don't have, you know, a celebration cake every single time. So I can cut whatever size I want, big, little, huge, just by holding the handles together. Now that is, this has been around now for quite a while. It was my very first invention. Like I said, it's in the London Design Museum for its simplicity and beauty of use. But you know what it means to me? It's also hygienic because the old way of cutting cake was that someone would cut the cake, stick their finger in the cake and put it on the plate. Then they lick their finger. If you're next in line for cake, what are you, what are you getting? A DNA sample, not a piece of cake. So in these days now, we're talking about ways to be cleaner and healthier. This is my way. This is how I serve cake to my family, to my friends, to at, a, at an event and including weddings. Let me show you something. This is also the perfect gift. They all come in a, a box that's printed with a ribbon and bow. So you don't have to do anything special, right? You can have it just like this. You can drop it into a, into a gift bag like this, you, whether you're going to Thanksgiving. Bring the cake with you. Bring the pie with you. I've got pie cutters as well. It can be a congratulations gift. Yeah. It can be a happy birthday gift. It can be anything gift. It's a perfect thing to take along. You don't have to know what kind of wine they like. You don't have to know anybody's sizes, their favorite colors, nothing. This yeah. is the perfect gift to have with you. And I'm seeing right now that our flex pay is actually amazing because now you could actually get a few of these and keep them in on hand in your if you have a place where you keep gifts, maybe you have an unexpected gifts that you need for somebody. But I love to go along to somebody's house, bring a cake, bring my cake cutters, and leave the cake cutters with them. I also want to remind you that I also took care of cutting pies. So that if you look online, my pie cutters are also available. It's a set of two, and they are so easy to use. If I, when we come back from the video, there you see little children serving themselves. This is elegant. It's easy. It's more hygienic. Yeah. These are my pie cutters. See these, these, you get two in a set. See how they're a little different? What I wanted to do is design a pie cutter that would cut right to the bottom of that pie plate the first time, every time. And to, when you got out a piece like this, now this is a gushy pie, right? Technical term. You slide under from the side with my pie cutter. When you pull it up, you don't miss anything. You can have the perfect piece of pie every time, the perfect piece of cake every time. Look at that slice of pie. Here's one I cut before. You're making Pan me hungry. Clean. You're making I me did. hungry, Debbie. You're making me hungry. <laughs> Everybody here was saying hey. they can't wait to be able to eat my cake. Hey, come to me. Come I want to use the here, gonna, Let me show you how to use the cake cutter live here in the studio. Oh, we have okay. an, we, we have an well, overhead why? shot. Well, because, you, listen, people might look at you and say, yeah, wait a minute. She invented it. She's really good at it. 
You don't have to be good at anything. All you have, to, can you hold it? Because that's all you need to do. And then you just go on top. So if that's the slice of cake that I want, watch. I go down, I grab the cake, and I bring my cake over. Look. And I, look at it. Hi. Come on. You know, I hate. Excuse hate my to fingers. Tell you this I'm going to put some strawberries so on top men. of my cake. Huh? <laughs> perfect. Perfect. It's a perfect slice. I've heard from so many men. Guy, guys don't want to serve cake. They don't know how. No. Uh, that may sound a little bad, but it's true. So now I've got men who are serving their own cakes and they're making, you know, men are beautiful bakers too. You don't have to be a baker. It can be a, a store bought cake. It can be a celebration cake. It can be an everyday cake. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to cut some more <laughs> from my sheet cake over here. I'm laughing because we, here. Debbie, I'm Look laughing because we got we've got a lot of people online and they're asking if the cake comes gonna... with it. <laughs> no, <laughs> you got to get your own cake, people. Yeah, you got... But you know what? I'm sorry, you got to get your Debbie, own cake. Debbie, you spend a lot of money or you spend a lot of time baking a cake. The last thing you want somebody to do is butcher it, honestly. And I have oh, seen absolutely. cakes. Yeah, I've seen cakes get destroyed. The cakes that took hours to make and somebody goes over and they hack it to pieces. You're not going to do that. And you get both the box cake cutter and the other. This has been one of the most popular for years. This has been the celebrated way to cut cake here at HSN. And Debbie is the one that did it. Like we said, it was one of her first most amazing products and people love it. And we never get tired of cake. We eat it all year long, right? And, and we, you know, this way, if you're portioning out and somebody, Debbie, if somebody wants a little piece, you can give them a little piece without That's it. hacking it up. Yeah. And you know what? Look at this. I'm holding a piece of cake. I can walk around going, who wants cake? And it's not falling out because of just a slight pressure. And then when I put it on a plate, I just release it. And it's the perfect piece of cake. Now, we, we also, I want to tell you, for many, many years, this has been the gift pick for stocking stuffers, the box fits in the stocking stuffer. By the way, the pie cutter, come back here. The pie cutter comes in the same kind of box, two sets. Uh, two pieces of pie cutters in this box. You get the both pieces of cake cutter in this box. What a marvelous present to take with you. If you, you know, thankfully we're going to be able to get together maybe on Thanksgiving. More people are getting together. Take this with you. Just drop it into a bag, a bag if you want to, but you don't have to Love because it. they are pre-gifted for Look you. Yeah, They're two ready. For one. Stick them in a drawer. Two gifts. Two <laughs> gifts, Debbie Meyer. Two gifts. Uh, darling, thank you so much for Skyping in. And those cakes were beautiful. I know thank there's a lot, you. you put a lot of work into it. And they're gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, or somebody, <laughs> somebody definitely put a lot of work into those cakes. You, thank goodness you put the work into the best way to serve them. Thank you so much, Debbie. Have a wonderful day. See you later. You too. Thanks, guys. You bet. 681-909, customer pick on hsn.com. Um, all right. So uh, we are coming up. Are we going to take a quick break? We are. When we come back, the best, guaranteed, best cup of coffee you've ever had in your life. Anytime you want. Right after this. It's Find Your Merry Weekend at HSN, and we're celebrating with the best deals on the brands you love to make your season bright and give the very best gifts, because this year's Merry should be even more extraordinary. Find Your Merry Weekend starts Friday. We're making bigger, even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect a price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1-800-284-3900. We use goat milk because we had it, and that's how our company started. But what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is, not only for the skin, but for your body. Goat milk adds moisture to your skin. It's really the most amazing ingredient. People really do notice the hydration of their skin. The farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802. everybody, Guy Yovan here with your kitchen essentials for the holiday season. Cooking a holiday meal can take over your entire kitchen. This compact air fryer from Kitchen HQ does not take up a lot of counter space and you can cook almost anything in it. So whether you're cooking meats or you're doing veggies or you're doing french fries, this air fryer has you covered. And trust me, you're going to wind up using it every day. You can leave it out on the counter or you can easily hide it away. Shop this and all my favorite holiday kitchen gadgets at hsn.com. Listen to that guy, he knows what he's talking about, right? Good thing I wore a different shirt. <laughs> 
Welcome back, everybody. My name is Guy. So we're going to get to our pick of the show. Uh, it is a brand new item. You're actually getting the very first airing. Um, it is called the Caloric Barista 8-in-1 uh, French Press Machine. It does so many different things. If you love, let me just say this. If you love a great cup of coffee and you've never tried French Press before, here's the thing with French Press, okay? It's kind of a pain if you do it the traditional way because by the time your water is poured in and you've, and you've poured the granules in and you've stirred the water in with the wooden spoon, not the, not the metal spoon, you put the lid on, by the time it's all said and done, you had to reheat the coffee because there's, the coffee well, water doesn't stay warm inside the unit. This is heated. This is an electric French press that does that and so many other things, all right? If you love homemade ho hot chocolate, we're even gonna show you how to melt the chocolate in, inside there. If you love the milk, your milk to be frothed, if you love lattes, if you love cappuccinos, whatever kind of coffee beverage, or as I said, chocolate beverage, whatever it is you wanna use this for, you can. It doesn't take up a lot of space, and it is a French press, so when you come in close, you'll see, you know, we put the grinds in, we heat it to the right temperature. Chef Jamie will explain why that's important. All you do is you press down with one finger. And now you are separating the grind from the beautiful coffee. And then all you do is take it up. And remember, it's heated underneath. Look at how well made this is. And then you pour yourself literally the best cup of coffee that you have ever had. And I am just telling you, it releases flavor. It's robust. It's rich. It is unbelievable. And like I said, the only reason I don't do French press a lot is it's a little more time consuming in that you got to heat the water in one area. Then you bring it over to the glass thing and then you stir it and you pour the grinds in. And then you put the, this is all in one. It does so much. Last thing I'll say, you're, rub your eyes. The price is right. We decided to come out with a 50% discount out of the gate. We want to get great reviews on this product, so we lowered the price down. 50% off, only $20 on your credit card. You've got all of October, all of November, all of Jan uh, December, and all of January to try it before you have to return it. If you know a coffee lover or a cold brew lover, this is a gift for you. You're going to absolutely love it. Let me introduce you to Chef Jamie Gwen, who is Skyping in with us. I'm sorry it took me so long, Chef, to say all that, but I'm really excited about this item. I love French press, and you've made it even better. We have, Guy. I'm so glad to see you. No worries. You can take all the time you want. I'm just sipping away at the <laughs> best cold brew ever, right? This, this is my essential now. I am a new mom, and coffee has never been more important. But I am so grateful to be back on HSN. And I love that you are a coffee aficionado, because do you see all of these gorgeous drinks from the latte to the French press, to the cold brew, to the cappuccino, to the beautiful hot chocolate made with, by the way, 70% dark chocolate, so good. Yum. And the ultimate jasmine green tea, the Bartista did all of that. We're making coffee house artisanal drinks in the comfort of our own homes now. It's, it, you, you cannot make it any easier uh, for people sure. out there. And I think, Chef, um, a lot of people, they hear French press and they they they, get, they love it when it's in a restaurant because the work is done for them. Uh, you know, everything, sure. they just bring it over and, and they'll press it in front of you and pour it. But I think the, the, the key to it is, is that uh, French press really allows you to really get the maximum extraction of flavor and intensity out of the grinds themselves. Yeah. You heat the, the exactly. temperature of the water is very, very important, but being able to get in there and, and work the grinds and being able to then press it at the very last second, like this, this cup right. of coffee I just poured, Jamie, unbelievable. And I, and I never drink black coffee. This is unbelievable. Perfection, Smooth. right? Okay, so let's it's so smooth, it's not bitter. Let's talk about what French press wow. does, because this is more than just a French press, albeit it looks and acts like a French press, but it's electric. So Guy, as you mentioned, this is the innovation from Caloric, a 90-year-old company, Belgian-based, started uh, really truly on the cutting edge of appliances, which is why I am so thrilled to be able to share caloric products here on HSN. And we have lots of new launches, this being one of them. You've never seen the Bartista before. It is a French press. And so it does make the absolute perfect cup of coffee at the absolute perfect temperature. Why is it superior? Like you mentioned, you get full extraction of the coffee grounds. And if you're a coffee lover, you know that a drip coffee system, it's just like a sprinkler system, right? Your coffee maker, if it's drip, it just drips water over the grinds. It doesn't capture all of them. You're not getting the depth, the richness, the flavor of that coffee that you spent good money on. So, mm, like Yummy. you said, if you take a, a sip of French press, 
it's beyond any cup of coffee you've ever tasted. It, you know what? And I think it, here's the thing is that people, they hear about it. They see it in a restaurant. Which is why this is such a great gift because now you can you can yeah. get French press at home and it doesn't rely on your skill as a barista <laughs> to do it because there is some skill to doing it when you do it the manual way. When you have a machine, it is so dang easy. And in fact, if you look at the machine itself, all the instructions that you need are right there. It also comes with a great little instruction book that'll tell you everything you need to know. Uh, I love the capacity. Uh, you can get 24 ounces of liquid in here. That's enough for several cups of coffee. Um, but I also, yes. you know what I love too, Jamie? I love the theater of it. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I yes. love, like, people are over there and they're like, what is that? And you're like, I'm gonna do French press. Have you ever had French? I mean, it's such a showboat thing, but, it and, and it would only be that if it didn't taste so good, but it's so <laughs> good when you're done. It's so good. And it's yeah. so much more than French press. So let me just show you, you mentioned, this is literally at the touch of a button it does make eight drinks with one appliance. So you'll notice that you can do everything from, and let me lean over so you can see as I go here, everything from your uh, cold brew, which by the way, there might be nothing better than a cold brew for an iced coffee lover, which usually could take 24 hours if you were making it in the traditional method, or it could cost you $6 if you went to your neighborhood coffee house, right? Cold brew, you can go to hot brew. Of course, the French press is the base for the cappuccino. You can make cold foam as well, hot chocolate. All of these things are essential with the Bartista because, and I wanna show you, at the bottom is a stainless steel cage that encloses essentially a frothing mechanism and a mixing mechanism. And what it does is it moves, like you can see here. Thank you, Guy, because you have an empty one. You can see those mechanisms. If you lift up that French press, it gives you a magnetic drive motor on the base. So it's magnetic. There's nothing that will touch from the bottom of that carafe to the base of the machine. I love that, by the way. That's like what induction cooking is. It's genius. Yes. And then you get this beautiful foam from the mechanism on the inside, but it is enclosed with a stainless steel cage, so nothing gets in the way. That's why you can make hot chocolate. You oh, can drop man. chocolate chips and chocolate <clears throat> chunks right in there? into this carafe. Wow. Yes, and what it does is it blends for you, but nothing gets caught because of the cage there. This is really innovation. You have never seen an appliance like this before. So like you said, show off make cappuccinos, yeah. be a culinary hero, make your favorite latte, make cappuccino for the kids and set out beautiful chocolate chip marshmallows. Yep. And I mean, have a party, right? Look at how because good that looks. This is really, this is the luxury of life. And if you think about it, if you spent $4 a day, 20 days a month, yeah. going to the coffee house on the corner yeah, and buying <clears throat> your morning cappuccino, you'll save yourself $1,000 a year you, you, with the purchase of the yeah. Bartista right here. You know what I love about it too is that you're doing it right in your own home, all mm -hmm. right? You are, you are getting something that you would spend a premium. And by the way, when we talk True. about like a regular cup of coffee at, at a shop that's four or five bucks, if you order, if you get the French press experience in a restaurant, it's a lot more expensive than four or five dollars for them to do the whole show of the French press, but it is worth it. It is worth the flavor. Jamie, I want to ask you a quick question. I have a lot of friends out there that love, love, love the cold brew. I would imagine you probably can't get better cold brew than made in this machine. You can't. You're exactly right. So it does all the work for you, Guy. The cold brew process stops and starts to get the ultimate extraction from the coffee grounds. It makes a really good quantity, as you and I have talked about. So I make a batch of cold brew, and I keep it in the fridge. And then if I'm, you know, needing excessive amounts of coffee, I'll make a double batch. Uh, over and over and over again, you get consistent, beautiful results. Now, check out. This is my cold brew. This is my cold foam. So you can make a cappuccino with hot foam just at the touch of a button. Literally, all those presets, literally press and walk away. But cold foam is essential if you want to have a cold, like the ultimate cold brew beverage, 
Check out this foam, guy. Now, by the way, the lower the fat, the better the foam. That's a, a barista secret, in fact. And I want to mention that I'm actually using almond milk here because I am an almond milk lover. But not every coffee machine or espresso machine or... Uh, for that matter, any uh, appliance that makes specialty coffees allows you to use a variety of milks. So whether it's cow or almond or soy or oat milk, your milk of choice works in your Bartista. And that's really important to mention because this is premium quality. Caloric makes appliances that are really top notch. So it gives you the versatility to literally, I gotta clean the foam off the plate there, guy to literally make <laughs> any beverage that you like. And then you can get fancy, right? I have some coffee stencils here and I'm just gonna stencil myself a beautiful maple leaf. Check this out, guy, you've gotta see it. Can you imagine going to the table I with your it. friends and family oh. and showing them off? We, we did a heart, we, we, we did a heart, TV. Look at it. You know, I and, love it. and these are just a sampling. And, and let me just tell you, the hot chocolate you'll make in here, your kids will love it. All right, they will love it because there's nothing like when chocolate starts to starts it's to true. warm up. It gives off the most intoxicating uh, aroma, and you're going to love that. Or the coffee, or as we said, hot drinks, cold drinks. Um, if you want to do the cold foam, you could do all those different things. And again, if you look at it in my hand, it does not take up much space. All right, it looks like the size of like my Nutribullet, only a little bit smaller, um, but it's going to hold 24 ounces inside. And remember, the key to this is is when you put your grinds in and you and your water heats to the right temperature right the final option or the final up, uh, method is to press right that's why it's called the french press and then it presses out the grounds and it releases the flavor and the coffee uh, comes out without any grinds in it it's like a big filter that lasts forever but by squeezing and compacting the, the grinds, it's, it's like if you squeezed an orange, right? The more, the harder you squeeze it, the deeper the flavor, you're gonna get all that juice out. Having a, the compression of the grinds is what really releases all the flavor because with a regular drip coffee machine or even a lot of the, the bigger machines that use the pods, the water is, mm. is, is real, realistically just enters in one area and it comes out the other. Yeah. You're not really getting That's that right. compression and you're not getting that the maximum amount out of your coffee. You know, it, which is, I mean, literally, it's kind of like a tea bag, right? You can use a tea bag over and over, but if you use a tea bag and you press it, it's only good one time. And that's what I want. Mm. I want one great cup of coffee after another. I don't need one that's a little weaker than the next one. I want it good every time, and you're gonna get that. Jamie, we got about a little over a minute, so I'm gonna let okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it back to you and show us some more yummy treats or some more ideas. Thank you, I'd love to. So we didn't talk about tea, Guy, and it's very important that you know the Bartista makes hot coffee, cold coffee in the form of cold brew. It makes hot foam and cold foam. It makes cappuccinos, macchiatos, lattes. It makes hot chocolate the most superb hot chocolate you have ever had. But it also brews tea, hot and cold. And if you wanna talk about extraction, this gives you a really nice opportunity to show this jasmine green tea is so full of flavor because the process itself, because of that man magnetic drive motor, because it can function on and off on its own, so you walk away and let it do its thing. It makes the most delicious, beautifully sweet, lovely cup of tea. There is no bitterness. The same goes for cold brew. You get the ultimate cappuccino for less than $80. Think about what you spent at the coffee house last month and consider that you can make all of these beautiful drinks in the comfort of your own home. Look, we're all still safer at home, right? So I have to tell you, uh, this is the treat I have every morning to start my day, and it does make the day better. Think oh, yeah. about the holidays coming, right? For all the coffee lovers in your life, this is the ultimate holiday gift. Hey. And I have to tell you, I wouldn't be without my Bartista. No, and you know, Jamie, we deserve it, right? It's like, and, and plus we're getting bored of the same routine at home. Make, get yourself a French true? press. It's gonna, you'll, you'll get up early and be like, oh, I can't wait to get to that French press. I can't wait to have that <laughs> yummy coffee, right? Give you something to look forward That's to in this true. terrible times that are hopefully getting better and better and better. Uh, it's wonderful to see you, Chef Jamie, as always. Thanks so much for Skyping yeah. and we'll see you again soon. I can't wait. Thank you guys so much. Uh, cheers. Happy coffee. Bye, honey. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm taking this wherever I go. This stuff is good. All right. If you'd like to order, continue. Uh, check out hsn.com. We're going to step away. We've got a sneak peek at our best value today coming up next.
Thing I love about shopping at HSN for the holidays? Oh, that one's easy. Flex Pay. Flex Pay is like Santa's little helper. It allows me to get everything on my gift list and make monthly payments with no interest or fees. Even if you're on the naughty list. I got a gaming system for my nephew, a pair of funky boots for my sister, and a little something just for me. FlexPay allows me to be the best gift giver I can be without the worries of paying for all of my holiday shopping at once. Beat that layaway. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, I want to show you my. This is my gift pick uh, of this hour. Uh, we're going to get to. Uh, uh, we're going to get to our today's special. We're going to mention that in a minute. But I wanted to talk about, uh, first about our Teleskill.